The overall um, aim of this tutorial is to show you how to design a controllers for systems with time delayed. The first part of the um, tutorial looked at the uh, how we approximate a time delay using the payday approximation and what that means, what that generates. Um, the second part is going to look at the nature of poles and their relationship to the, uh, with the uh, time response of a system. And the reason for that is, in general, when we come to design, we want to, divine, de to, de to define specifications like how fast the response is. And therefore, when you're looking at the root locus tool, you need to be able to translate that into pole location so you can kind of visualize where you should be looking, whether a design is feasible or not. So. Um, if we were to take the transfer function without the delay, this one here, and do an RL tool on G of S. Okay, so we would have stated before that in general we know that the location of the pole, the pole location here, um, is uh, inversely related to the speed of the response. So if you look at a response to the step command, Okay, and we get rid of the control signal. Uh, systems there, and we look at this. Then here we have a pole location um, at 0 0.01, and we get a, for example, settling time of approximately 250 seconds. Okay, so if we invert that pole location, 1.5 gives us about 66 seconds. Okay, so in general, the settling time, if we move over here, of 250 seconds is between, let's say, three and four times the um, inverse of the pole location. Now, the inverse of the pole location is a time constant, so the settling time is three or four times the time constant. And that, and that relationship... Um, um, is, is is consistent. So as I move this out here, as I change my gain, I change my poles and consequently change my gain. Um, so, for example, at point 0.1, more or less, we have a time constant of 1 over that, of 10 seconds, um, and our settling time is approximately four times that at 40 seconds, right? So when you're looking at designing closed loop systems, then we start out here. How would we like our settling time to be? So let's say if we start out with a settling time of 40 seconds, then we should be thinking of a time constant of about a quarter of that, 10 seconds, and therefore the pole location is one over that, um, giving us 0.1. Uh, when you're looking at our root locus tool, then that's what we're thinking. Where do I need to place the closed loop pole to get that sort of response? If you make the system uh, a bit more complex, and let's say we add um, a, an integrator to it, then we go back to our root locus design, we get something like this. Okay. Um, so all along, so when we move off the real uh, axis and into the um, complex plane, then what we see is pretty much all up along here. Okay, if you look at your, I'm looking at your settling time in the figure on the right hand side, you can see that's not changing much. It's about 750 seconds all the time. Now your uh, oscillations are becoming uh, much more. Uh, uh, pronounced, but pretty much the settling time is pretty consistent. Right? It's not changing dramatically. And it's not changing dramatically because the poles are remaining parallel to the imaginary axis and that defines the speed of response. Or alternatively, um, if we click there, the real value of the pole is 0 0.005. So we've got 1 over 0 0.005 is giving us 200, and therefore our settling time again is approximately 3 times that, or three, between 3 and 4 times that, to give us a settling time of um, 
600, uh, well, between 600 and 800 seconds. Uh, so again, the idea here is that um, when we're when we're designing, we kind of have an idea what we would like our closed loop response to be. We want, so for example, we want a settling time of 200 seconds. Then we're going, uh, we're converting that into a time constant. So taking, let's say, one third of that and then converting that into a pole location. So let's say 200 seconds divided by three, pole location about 0.66 and one or 60, sorry, a time constant is 66 seconds. And therefore a pole location of approximately 0 0.014 is where you would like them. Um, so 0 0.0149 would be over here someplace, right? And clearly in this case then, um, the idea is can the idea is can we achieve that requirement in this design? And the answer is no. 